Straight again or die in 30 seconds. 30 seconds? All right. 29 more seconds till I die. I'm so excited. Send this to your straight friend. Okay, I know. You're a little bit straight, and that's okay. That's okay. I'm not gonna tell anyone. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell anyone your secret's safe with me. Sorry. <laughs> I have super sensitive skin. <laughs> Sorry. Are you guys taking me to Chromatica? <laughs> Can we go to Ulta? Oh my god, do you guys follow Demois? I'm kind of having a good skin day. Jason Sudeikis is at Starbucks in Brentwood. That's cool. What are we gonna order for dinner tonight? I feel like I am somebody who I just feel everything. How's my hair, you guys? I feel like we're oily today. So for me, this year was really about trying to be okay being by myself. Oh, there's CVS. I need to get face wash, okay? Oh my God, do you guys wanna see videos of me as a kid? Do you guys actually have a really cool energy? Do you guys have a dog? I have to pee. Can we go to Starbucks? Do you guys mind? Do you guys like music? Dua Lipa? Dua La Peep. <laughs> you smell good. Wait. Yes, I was late for my train again. I think I like the adrenaline rush for being late. Looks like I have an audience. Those two curls are so cute. I should start charging people for looking at me. This is a master class for them. I am so delusional. EWW, that palette is so dirty. Quick outfit change. Did I lock the door to my home? Oh shit, I look so hot. I'm the hottest person on this train. The world is my runway. I hope I won't trip. Blue, wake your ass up, bitch. Bitch you up? Wonder Wig, assemble! But... Follow me on the gram. For you. My homophobic family found my Instagram. Now they don't want to talk to me anymore. Oh, we have this family group chat and somebody sent a link. And it was the link to my Instagram. Apparently me shooting my first makeup campaign, which I should be excited for, was too much. Me wearing a crop top, also too much. And me wearing the makeup, also too much. Too gay. Not only that, I've lost 5,000 followers in a day because I wore makeup. <laughs> and my family doesn't want to talk to me. But there is something that I do have to say about that. Is that gonna stop me, bitch? No! The unfollowers, bye. The family that didn't support me, bye, bitch. I don't care. You know what I do care about? You guys following me so I can get some more support. I need it right now. Really need it right now. Today I'm gonna tell you what happened to Sara Hagazi, and it's something that I want you to never forget. Sara Hagazi was a queer Egyptian activist who died by suicide after being imprisoned for raising the LGBT flag at a Mashroa Layla concert. She left a suicide note and wrote, Ila ikhwati, hawilt inni agah wa fashalt, samhouni. Ila asdiqai, at tagruba qasiya, wana adaf min an aqawimha, samhouni. Ila al-alam, kunta qasiyan ila hadda azima, walakinni usamah, Sara Hagazi. 
Sada was jailed for three months with nine days spent in solitary confinement. Sada spoke openly about the effects of her traumatization that she experienced in prison. Her suicide while living in exile reverberated within our communities. The trauma and dehumanization that she experienced was nothing new to us. This flag failed her here. But Sada, I raise this flag for you now. As a queer Egyptian therapist, your pain will not go unnoticed. May you rest in power as the revolutionary that you are. Hi guys, I um I know this isn't the type of video I would usually post on TikTok, um, but recently I've just been getting a lot of hate online. Uh, people have just been calling me ugly, making fun of my appearance, saying I'm like too ugly to have a boyfriend, saying I'm too ugly to have the boyfriend I have, saying I don't deserve a following on social media. So um, I've decided that because I'm going back to university in a few weeks, I'm just gonna take a break from all my social medias and just um focus on my studies for now. Some of the classes I'm going to be taking at university are going to be really hard. One of the classes I'm going to be taking at university is actually called I don't give a fuck about your opinion whatsoever and you just look really fucking dumb when you leave hate comments on my videos. <laughs> you thought I was actually leaving? <laughs> yeah no I'm not leaving. You just look really fucking dumb when you leave hate comments. Put your head on my shoulder. Jin John, 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 Jin John, da. Jin John, Jin, John, John, ah, um, Jin John, good. If this is on your for you page, I have some news for you. I don't know how to break it to you, so maybe we should just play a game called Are You? If you've ever had lunch with your English or history teacher, you're Okay, soon as I stepped in the club, I hit up the back so my If you follow local gays on Instagram because you know them but you don't know them, but you kind of know them because you're both Atlanta tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> And if you're still watching this, you may be eligible to download Grinder. Yeah, that was an iced coffee and a... A hot chocolate. What, are you a child? Are you not embarrassed? Sorry. I'm sorry, can we get a hot chocolate for the 20-something-year-old child? Ah. No worries, do you want marshmallows? Is the big baby want marshmallows? Of course. Yeah, we want marshmallows. Did it come with a little toy? Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing, uh, how much? 733 next window, thanks. Okay, iced coffee and a little hot twacker with. <laughs> Shut up, at least I'm not a walking, talking, gay stereotype. Ugh, whatever. Jimma, I need some iced coffee music, now. Iced coffee music? That's yeah, my new Spotify playlist. Iced caramel cappuccinos. Cappuccino. I don't even know. Oh my god, phenomenon! Turn it up all the gay! Marshmallow! <laughs> This is it, Miss Thing. Chris, Chris. Oh my God, Denali, Miss Thing. I'm gooped. I'm gagging. I'm gagging. Me too, sis. But wait until we get to the real gaggery. Here comes Miss Tanisha Amon. Would you like to live in the future? Luna was born in the year 2084. She grew up with technology that told her what to do every day, when she should take her vitamins, or when she should go to bed. She likes to add new holograms to her room, or watch old TikToks her grandparents used to watch. Fuck everything! Luna is happy. So, what do you think? Um, dads? Yes? Yes, son, what's up? I have something really important to tell you guys. Sure, go for it. Don't tell me you secretly moved in with the boy after one date. Babe, stop, let him speak. Well, actually, I'm going with us to Pride and Drag because you ditched us last year? Seriously, can you just listen? Oh my god, let him finish. I'm straight. <laughs> Please don't be disappointed in me. <laughs> well, I... <clears throat> I hope this doesn't change anything. I honestly didn't expect this. Of course we still love you, I'm just a little taken aback. Don't worry, I still love you. Just remember to treat girls with respect and leave any toxic masculinity at the door. And wash your butt. Okay, okay. And you'll still go to Pride with us? Yeah, fine, I'll go. Period. Yes, I hate capitalism. And yes, I am a shopaholic. I found out Rip after my that dental this bell? is a twist Ouch. off. I do way too much for this app. Get it, Lenin A. None of this is going to plan. 
deal with it. Is anyone else just like repulsed by the idea of coming out? Like I still haven't come out to a lot of people because I just don't want to like talk about who I like. Like that's ugh. like that's so gross. It's just awkward and weird. Like when I first started coming out to my friends, they'd be like, oh, like I won't tell anyone. I was like, no, please tell everyone like gossip about me because I don't want to have these like awkward fucking conversations. Like I'd rather write a newsletter email to my family than like sit down and like, talk to them and be like earnest. Oh my God, the idea that they might like be like, we support you. Uh, no, we love you. Uh, stop. Okay, hear me out. This but make it gay. How's your night going? I'm currently hiding in my room because my homophobic aunt, yeah, she heard me, had a lot to say during dinner. So this afternoon I figured out they were coming over and I was told to, you know, turn the gay down just a little bit. No makeup, nothing too gay. So do you wanna know what a bitch did? Beat my motherfucking face to the gods and stepped out my room looking like this. Oh, yes, Gaga, hey yes. mama. As I should. I then walked up the stairs, heard that doorbell ring, and then greeted them at the door. This is how they look. Hey sir, oh, what the fuck are you wearing? Pray it away, pray it away. I said, what? You don't like my outfit, babe? Come on now, I'm eating, I'm serving. My entire family looked at me, they're like, oh gosh. I looked at her dead in her eyes, I said, what's the issue here? It took her a second, she said, you! I don't want you to burn! I said, babe, the only reason I'm gonna burn is because I'm hot as fuck. Right after those words came out of my mouth, I got sent to my room. Now I'm here. And I'll do it again! Um, yes, Queen Skinny Legend Versace boots the house down. Slay Queen, Hunty Mama, and Oop Daddy work. Charlie X, yes, snatch my wig! Okay, okay, so I'm gonna surprise my boyfriend in these magical TikTok leggings and let's see what he says. Hey, babe, what do you think? <gasps> oh my god, your ass looks amazing. Not to objectify you or anything like that. Your legs look amazing. What are those? What a color, too. Pink. You could stop traffic. You should wear those to work out. They're doing wonders for your calves, your knees. <laughs> wow. Did you get me a pair? No. That's okay, we can share this. This is good, babe. This is really good. You're like bubblegum wrap that I want to unwrap. Can I unwrap you? Yeah. All right, class. Uh, <laughs> we're doing mathematics today. Okay, Sarah, what is one plus one? Two. Period, queen. It's the smart for me. It's the brains for me. It's the knowledge for me, as you should. Why am I gay? Oh, well, um, when I was four, I sneezed in church and no one said bless you. And so then the devil entered my body and made me the sassy bitch that I am today. Daddy, my pussy hurts. Hey whore, welcome back to Deep Thoughts with Matt. Did you know that your parents had sex? That's disgusting. I think I'd rather cease to exist now. Sir? Yes? I just want to say you're beautiful and I love your mustache. Love you. Thank you very much. And I love your smile. I can't thank you enough. does that just make me fall in love with her all over again when you buy a laundry hamper like that one right there and then she comes home and she leaves her socks all over the house <laughs> it's not that far when you're walking around the house barefoot and you step on a dried contact lens because why put it on the trash when you can just throw it on the floor when she can't decide what glass to use so she just decides to use all of them and then I find them all over the house <laughs> It's like a scavenger hunt. When she gets up in the middle of the night to pee, and then she doesn't flush the toilet. <laughs> oh, God. I love peeing on top of her pee. I'm <laughs> kissing another man. I mean, I don't understand the question. Me, me either. Me either. Not everybody is, but I'm totally comfortable with it, too. All right. Just want you to know that at any point. Yes! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, that's a falling gay. Not just any falling gay, that's Captain Queer. Who are you? Ignorant side. I am but one cog in the vast machine of progress. We are Sinister Sis. Now to straighten this world for the future! No! No! Are you okay, Captain Queer? Ugh. I'm fine. Are you okay, kid? You saved my life. You're a hero. Anyone can be a hero, kid. Up, up, and again! Whoosh! This is a 1946 Revised Standard Version. So this is the first time in all of history, in any language, that the word homosexual ended up in any Bible. They combine two words that have nothing to do with each other into homosexual. There were 22 people in the translation team for the RSV, and there were 90 boxes of archive notes found at Yale University. We didn't know what we were gonna find when we dug into the RSV notes. Third day, we found what we were looking for. So my brother finally came out to my mom today and it went so well. She is being so supportive. She's sending him to this like special camp, which is really cute. Like everyone's gay there. She, he doesn't know yet. It's a surprise. Um, I was like, how long does he get to go for? That's awesome. She was like, until it works. <laughs> I don't know. And um, I was like, wait a second. When I told you I was bi, why didn't I get to go to summer camp? And she was like, oh, I knew it wouldn't stick. I don't know what she's talking about. She's funny. But um, yeah, it gets better, guys.